I'm smart enough, aren't I? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7, King James Version. Why are some people cocky? They provide the illusion that they are always right, that they've had plenty of experience, and have the best solution ever. Sure, experience does provide many solutions and answers, but could pride possibly be involved sometimes? The sorrow of Sarai and impatience of Abram caused them to go forward with a plan that brought only pain and trouble to their household. Disbelieving God's promise that they would birth a son of their own, Sarai suggested that her husband marry her Egyptian handmaiden and raise her son as their own. Abram agreed and the result have been family squabbles and war ever since. Many years ago, my husband wanted to leave one employment for another. But the fear associated with that caused me to disagree. My husband even asked for a sign from God, and though it came to pass, my fear was very great. One day, I listened to a religious radio program and was convinced to surrender everything to God. My heart melted. Kneeling, I prayed the prayer of surrender. Getting up from my knees, the devil again brought fear and turmoil into my heart. Fear took over rational thinking. I convinced my husband not to press forward in the direction he felt God was leading. The result of my know-it-all opinion and decision wreaked havoc in our lives. So much of the pain and result of this unwise fear did not bring peace. Praise God, though, He is the restorer and repairer of the breach. He can turn pain and poor decision into something wonderful, which He beautifully did. The message says, Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Don't assume that you know it all. Run to God. Run from evil. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. We can always trust God to provide the answers needed for each situation. If you lack trust and faith, flood your mind with His beautiful promises. Let His power and peace fill your heart to overflowing, so much so that you can allow Him to work things out as He sees best. Valerie Hamel Marconi So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.